Hold on a second. Hold on. There we go. Good. E Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video where tonight I am going to be hunting for spookwood. That's a spookwood tree in the background. I'm just kidding. No, I'm not. I'm not doing anything in particular. Um, I choose to play Lumber because it's the one thing that you guys were, are going to watch. So, um, if I play Lumber, then I can just speak and record content and be here and not worry about whether or not somebody's going to be watching the game. So, a um, little bit different take on how I'm going to be recording. I'm in here. So, I, I'm, I'm literally not doing anything today. I know that yesterday's video was um, a little dark. A little saddening and you guys seem to have responded to it really well <clears throat> a lot of people watched it and a lot of people commented a lot of people have uh, have pets that have died in the past and guess what that is a natural normal occurring thing that happens in life so I'm very happy with the way yesterday's video turned out I was a little worried that I was going to offend some people with like the whole don't bring religion into it and stuff, but no, everybody seemed to respond really well to it. Um, also, I do apologize about your Nana passing away recently. I'm glad that my video helped you, and I am speaking to the person that commented directly. So, I, I am sorry that you're going through loss, death, death. Such a harsh word for such a natural process. Maybe maybe it's not really a harsh word. The word death itself isn't harsh. It's our our meaning and our understanding behind it that make it so bad. I'll agree with that. <laughs> I don't know. I have n oh wait, I'm still moving that already. Um I wanna take this down. I wanna take down the whole fence. I wanna build something different. So, that's what I'm going to do. Finish. Finish. There we go. Let's just, uh... Come here, buddy. Move. <clears throat> um, I've been talking with Jack, trying to get uh, a date together that we can play and, and do our candy episode. Because I still have uh, blazing gummy bears. We need to do a, a hot challenge. And... Um, I know he didn't show it on the tweet, but I also sent him one of these, which is the uh, the little nitro gummy bears. These things are like eight bucks for a single gummy bear. Now, what's kind of cool is like, it's got the, the little challenge on it. So like when you open up the box, there's literally the gummy bear challenge, the little nitro challenge. And you're supposed to like post with it and everything else. What a gimmick, you know? That's, that's amazing. Internet did that. I don't know. Bat9 probably did that, but... The, the hot, spicy challenges that were going on for a while. Do you guys remember the pepper challenge? Fortnite? Man, I haven't, I haven't played Fortnite in forever. And I know that there's some new season starting because they're starting to send me emails again. They're like, come play Fortnite. See the best. Be the best. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm promoting, like, maybe I've just gotten used to it, but promoting video games all over the place. Dude, if your video game's good, you don't have to, like, super brag about it. Gameplay will do the rest. People will do the rest. You just gotta make a good game. Destroy the blueprints. Destroy the blueprints. Disrespect your surroundings. <clears throat> so I don't know. Uh, do you guys consider me old now? I mean, am I am I in the old category? Um, I'm 42, by the way. Which is kind of weird. Whenever I'm playing on. Uh, oh, by the way, I play Population One on VR, Oculus, but you can play it on Vive and Steam and everything else. But I 
Oh, I was going somewhere with that story. Every time I jump into a game and there's some little kid on there that's like screaming their head off and they're like, you're old. I'm like, dude, gamer for life doesn't end at a certain age, okay? If you're a gamer, you are a gamer. And I know that Jack Black had uh, written a, a song, I don't play video games no more. I actually love that song. It's a great song. Probably not appropriate for my channel. I don't, I, don't, I don't know. Jack Black is still family friendly because you've got Kung Fu Panda, right? I, I remember him from the Tenacious D era. That's... That's how I know them. Oh, come on. Just, would you please... My section is too short. Okay, fine. <clears throat> now, we built this up pretty big at one time. Oh. Should I make a signature wall again? I haven't done a signature wall in forever. If you're inside the game, you can come inside my base. That would get crazy really fast, wouldn't it? Let other people sun my base. Yeah. Um, speaking of which, um, any exploiters? I know that a lot of my fans... Um, do exploits and stuff, but I myself don't, and I have not done anything in so long. Put it this way, I don't want to risk my job or my YouTube or anything else because, oh, Code wanted to try an exploit. Not happening. Nope. Won't do it. But my fans who are in the exploiters community, anything working? I've been told that uh, most of the exploits are patched. I've seen a couple of the, the discords go down. No longer able to. And a lot of people will ask me, Code, why are you inside that exploiter's discord? What better way to influence young minds? What, what better spot to talk? and acknowledge because that's I mean that's I never understood that people judging about who you hang out with and who you influence or who you choose to spend time with none of your business okay <laughs> I mean when it comes down to it and that's that's for anybody's opinion if their opinion matters to you then yeah listen to them but for the most part and here's the thing the internet I don't know what you've done but for some reason you get offended everything everything and nowadays it's getting even worse it's like oh that's racist or oh that's no it's not a lot of this stuff isn't racist a lot of this stuff isn't Now, and that's not to say racism doesn't exist out there. It's all over the place. But at the same time, it can't be in reverse either. And a lot of people went, whoa, cold, what? No, here's the thing. Racism doesn't consist of like any one particular race or one particular sect of people. It's, it, it's everywhere. And it's in reverse. And it's obvious. Are you human? Yes? Then you have DNA. And you're like everybody else. There is not one thing. Here's... <clears throat> I'm going to get into it. I'm going to get into it. I'm going to go off. I'm about to rant. You guys love my rants. Sorry. <clears throat> Not just with racism, with the LGBTQ and the, with the, the the labels and with the influence of young people's minds. Get off your high horses. Every single one of these groups, sex, people that are trying to influence you on the internet. And here's the other thing. Christianity. Oh, Christianity. What are you guys doing on TikTok? Seriously, there there are these TikToks where people are labeling, I'm a Christian, ask me anything, and then fighting with people on the internet. 
stop. That is, like, that is the complete opposite of your religion. Like, yes, spread the word, but why are you cramming it down people's throats? Or better yet, why are you arguing about it? Because the last time I checked, you're a human. And they're a human. And we're free to think anything we want. Period. Religion aside. Stop trying to get people to... <sighs> Sorry. Maybe I should stop. And here's the cool thing. It's not... It's not people I'm mad at. It's the internet in general. The person is smart, okay? A, a singular person is smart. People are dumb. I'm gonna say that. People are sheep. Otherwise we wouldn't have Apple. <laughs> no offense. <clears throat> People are easily manipulated and not recognizing the signs of how you're being manipulated is one of the key features of how people rule, how their ideas become your ideas. And you didn't want that, but it just happened to be the way it is. What I'm trying to say is when you see um, like a video or you see an ad, right? And it's got an old man sitting there with his grandchild and they're playing the piano and the grandmother's watching across from the room. And then all of a sudden, bam, Apple Pro in your face. Guess what they just did? That is actually a hypno hypnosis technique called anchoring. What we're going to do is we're going to make you feel something. We're going to trigger a memory inside your head that you are going to relate to and place this emphasis of something that you feel, right? And then you're gonna switch it and put the product name in your face. I want you to go and after this video, go and look at the current advertisements coming out for Apple. Okay, and here's the cool thing. Take a really big step back from the Apple Vision Pro and think this is not what they want you to buy. There's no way that the average person is gonna go out and spend $5,000 on a headset. This is their flagship showing, hey, look what we can do. And in two years, they're gonna come out with a smaller product, something smaller, compact, easier to buy, and it's gonna be affordable for the people. That is their long-term plan. The way that they're presenting this, the way that they're bringing it on, it's to make the other VRs it's like kind of question like, oh, maybe your product isn't good. Maybe it's no, it isn't. You get like Apple's done this for years. They did it to Samsung. They did it to um, uh, the Samsung Galaxies. And they're like, we have 17.3 billion megapixels. Whatever the, the stats were that they were coming out with their new iPhone were the stats that was on the Samsung three years prior. So there was nothing new to it. Maybe that's what's going on with me lately. Because I'm really annoyed at the world. And it's not just the world, it's everyone in the world. I think the biggest thing that's making me mad is the, the fights in Gaza Strip Russia, Ukraine, China. <sighs> when did humans become stupid? No offense. Stupid humans. Across the globe. All races. And I'll say this. I'll say it to any religion, any race. Like, humans themselves are stupid. We are stupid. Because we think that it's just gonna keep going. And here's the hard part. Like, you can't try and say to somebody, humans need to figure out a way to get off the planet or in, into space and, and move forward with progress as one. There's not gonna be any space progress. And like, there's not been anything since we went to the moon. There's been no need to. And it wasn't driven by exploration and what we could do. No, it was driven by war. Oh no, Russia's gonna get there first. Oh no, this is that. Oh no, they're gonna bomb us. We have the money. The United States, Russia, China, everyone. We have the money. All right, it's just, what are we gonna spend it on? It's not in the public's interest of those people who are in power. And that's why we're never going to get the space. 
Sorry. <sighs> if you're if you're a young child watching this right now and you're thinking to yourself, man, Code's really angry at the moment. I'm I'm not. I'm I want a better world. And the fact that I can go into population one, jump into a lobby, and within twenty seconds, we'll have a form of racism, insulting, trolling. Twenty seconds. Even in Roblox. Like, hold on. I don't even know what that says. What does it say? I hope it's not bad. Uh, hold on. Let me pause. I need to go translate that. That's going to make me mad. Never mind. It's not bad. It says, I want money, is what it says. Google Translate is amazing, by the way. Um, if you have Google Translate on your phone, you can actually pull it up, and there's a camera feature where if you pointed at something and you don't know the language, like Arabic, right, it actually translated it to English for me on the screen, real time. So, I really like the Google Translate. Um, well, if we're not going to do a thing around the side, then let's go ahead and build a fan wall, or a, a fan thing. I'm just going to destroy this. Sorry. I don't even remember if this was palm wood or what this was. Oh, th here it is. Is this, is this what it was? Was it birch wood? Was I doing the birchy birch wood? Oh my goodness. If I have offended somebody, good. I hope I offended someone. Because the last time I checked, offending someone has never hurt anyone. And I don't know where it went, but whenever I was a child, Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words can never hurt me. People don't know that saying nowadays. It's like little kids have never heard of it before. I oh, know! And the responses to some people's comments. <sighs> that was a little loud. I need to go get some new headphones, by the way. I think these are starting to give out on me. They have a, a weird popping sound. Also, Creep, I didn't know that you were a wig dude. <laughs> he was on live stream watching somebody in, watching their uh, video about him wearing wigs. Didn't even know he had wigs. I just thought he always dyed his hair. It's kind of why I was growing mine out. Maybe I should do a color of some kind. My hair kind of looks flat at the moment. Hold on. Let's do this. If I pull my hair back, and then I pull this like that. No, it still looks like poop. <laughs> still, still all kind of no. Yeah, wow. Well, can't win them all, Code. It's fine. And I don't plan to. Here's the other thing. Um, a lot of people have been saying, Code, your Discord's dead. Your Discord's dead. It is. The, that Discord is non-chatty. Like, it's, it, we don't chat very much there. Um, it's not dead. People are there. If you want to go and chat, you can. But, I mean, I don't, I don't hang out in there. And One of the main reasons for that was we shut down um, movie night and karaoke. As much as I'd like to start it back up, I'm not sure that I have the time nor the resources, but I would love to start back in with some movie nights. Movie nights on like Saturdays or something. You know, everybody come in, hang out, have some popcorn, have some candy. And for the next hour and 30 minutes, two hours. Hello? Sound like somebody was in my room. <sighs> what a mess. Just base cleaning. Is that what we're going to do today? Here. Let's actually do some builds. Make it look like I did some work today. Um okay, hold on. We we will we will alright. I don't want it right on the edge, because then I can't put anything there. But I also don't want it right there. Right. That's where I want it, right there. Okay. So now if I turn, should be able to put one right here. 
Ooh. Excuse me. <coughs> well, what's going on here? Come on. There we go. Rotate. That is not how to properly box that item. All right, hold on. This has actually got to come up one, doesn't it? So when we go here, hold on. There, like that. See how it squares out on the bottom there? Nice, okay. That'll work, right? Let's go large floor. Let's turn. Why is it not? There we go. I think I want this one three by three or nine squares. And we'll go up in the middle, I guess. There we go. That'll work. All right. Um, <clears throat> how should we fill this in? What do you think would be best for the backdrop of uh, names? I say we use use the birch again. Is this birch? I can't even remember if this is birch. Hold on. Yeah, that's that looks like it's birch. Birch tree. Oh, come here. <laughs> now, wait, does the dice roll? Like, can we... We can't press E and it rolls, right? Yeah, just a loose item. So... Let's double check it. If I remember right, four... Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Six plus one, seven. Two plus five should be seven. And three plus four is seven. So the dice is wrong. Dang it. I wonder. All right, I'm just messing around at this point. Oh, we are 23 minutes and I haven't even talked about anything or done anything. Just complained about racism and the world. The world duel. The world do? The world do? I don't know. I think that's JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. need to hit it again. We all got it once. There we go. <clears throat> Building up a signature wall for my base. Gonna have people sign it. They're gonna see me doing things on the video. Like build. Hmm. The world is changing into a crazy, crazy place, and I'm worried about the stuff that's going to be happening, but at the same time, we have enough drama in the world. We have more than enough drama in the world. And here's the thing. If you're a little kid growing up in this world, you've got things to worry about like tying my shoe or going to the dentist, and those things are very stressful. Like, just the simple act of, of going to school takes a certain amount of courage and effort, you know? And something I am seeing a lot is anxiety in kids. A lot of kids are having anxiety issues. 
I would like to say that most of it probably stems from the parents and the parenting and the environment, but I am not their parent. I don't know. Which is also kind of cool because uh, I just found out like Hope really likes psychology. And I think she's going to go try and be a psychologist, which I encourage. I'm like, yeah, I'll do it. All right, let's go. Come on, come on. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Remake of Josie and the Pussycats from uh, 1990. No, 1998, I think. I actually used to have the uh, soundtrack, the CD, yeah. and the movie. DVD. I'm so old. <clears throat> Wait, uh, the main actress in that, she also played in Antitrust. She was a hacker. Or maybe maybe she was just a programmer. Maybe as just a programmer. I don't remember. Um, by the way, Fazek, you and me, we've got to have a night where we sit down and watch hackers together. That would be so fun. Maybe we should do that for movie night. Oh, that's it. We're not going to do Disney movies anymore. We're going to do old school 80s. I don't know. Any suggestions for, for movie night? Again, I don't know if we're going to actually do it movie night. but Put it this way. I would love to. I've, I've been having this, this weird thing where like... I get an idea and I want to go do it. And then all of a sudden, halfway to getting to go do that idea, I'm like, I don't want to do anything. And it's just this overwhelming demotivation of like, I don't want to do anything at all. It's not been happening at work though. At work, I've been doing a lot of cool stuff. A lot of stuff that I've not messed with in a while. As far as like uh, encryption, programming, timing, stuff like that. Found a problem with one of our time servers. Which is crazy because the time server controls the time of all the machines on the network. And the way I found it is this encryption that I've got to do is a TOTP, which is a time... Time-based one-time password, TOTP, time-based one-time password. And the way it works is it uses HOP, which is, um, no, HMA, no, A. <clears throat> Basically, you take the epoch time, which is the current time as Unix minus 1970, January 1st, and you'll get a number. Take that number, divide it by the intervals at which you need the time password, normally 30 seconds. So take that, divide it by 30, and you're going to get a number. Take that number and hash it with, or it's going to be SHA1 hash along with uh, your secret key, and it'll produce you a, um, a hash, or like a really long string, about 20 characters. And what you do is the last letter of the hash is your offset of where to read the code. That code for the next 10 bits, 20 letters, is the one-time password, the right six of the result. Anyhow, the way you calculate that is um, everybody will have the same time in Unix epoch, right? Um, or you could like go to the internet and that time is regulated constantly. Since we had a problem with one of the time servers and literally it was like seconds off, but because it was off by uh, about 53 seconds, that time delay with the Unix, uh, sorry, that small time difference with the logarithm to do one time passwords, it would never get the correct password. Like you would never have the right pin to log in. So, it was a really good find. Um, network guys, they went in and corrected the, uh, the server. I was able to change uh, the virtual machine's hosted uh, Windows time sync. 
and push it over to uh, network instead. So I disabled the VM's ability to change time. Change its time, I guess. Oh man. I don't know if I want to make a an outer wall to this, but I will make platforms that we can climb up, I think. Uh-oh, lag delay. Oh, we're at 30 minutes, too. Whoa, speed run. It's like a speed chop. Big lag delay, big lag delay. There we go. Um, how many of you got to this point and weren't subscribed yet? Just asking, asking for a friend. I don't know. Maybe I should start calling it out at the beginning of the videos. Like and subscribe this video right now or this kitten will get a hug. I don't know. Or this spider will crawl out from your bed in the night. One, two, three, yay! Again, just influence of people trying to get you to do things. Hmm. I never thought about that before, but because I did hypnosis videos and I know how to hypnotize and stuff, I don't use NLP on my videos at all. Non-linguistic programming. So like, but that's also the reason that I tell you all the time. I'm like, hey, if you want to subscribe, go for it. If not, that's cool too. What is that? Is this like the new, oh, leaderboard, chat, what's this nine button? Emotes? And respawn. Oh, I can just report. Yeah, we're not doing that. Hello, gargoyle. Whoa. Hey, God, I love your videos. Hi. Thank you. Um, actually, come here. Since you're the first one. Let's just do that then. Not saying I'm going to do this every single time, but uh, G A R N U I L L. Okay. Come here. Come here, gargoyle. Is that the actual name, gargoyle? G X T H Goyle. So, let's see if I can do an E. Or a G. I don't know if that's going to look like an A or not, but we're going to try for it. G A R Yeah, that that, that looks horrible. That doesn't even look like a thing. All right. G A <laughs> It's a horrible looking A. R will go like this. G A R. And I need to do a little G. Oh, hold on. Hold on. How am I going to do this? For right here, I need to do a G. Whoa, 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 whoa. no, that's, that's not what I wanted. G A R. Gar. All right, we'll finish it there, Gar. Psst, psst. 
G A R G finish and one more. I need an L E at the end, right? Gargoyle. There you go. I hope I spelled that right. <laughs> But that's it. That's it. I'm calling it. Thank you, everyone, for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Prime. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of videos like a good YouTuber does. But it's your choice if you want to. Go for it. If not, that's cool, too. You were here. You watched. You have fun. Love you guys for that. <clears throat> Again, I don't know if this is the content that you're wanting. It's the content I'm producing. So I hope you like it. I hope you had fun. And I... Uh, have a good day. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Love you guys. Outro.